In our last video, we talked about string manipulation and had a brief overview of how it worked. In this uh, application, we're going to do uh, two things. We're going to use left to print out somebody's name, their first name, their middle initial, and their last name. And then what we're going to do is we're going to look at the right string manipulation method and get the last four digits of a credit card number they enter. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to need are some variables, and we'll do uh, the variables one at a time. So let's do them first name. We're going to do that as a string, dim middle name, and that will be a string, and dim last name as string. And then we're going to need um, another variable type, and that is to hold the character. We could overwrite middle name with the uh, middle letter, but middle name, the name of that variable, should deal with the middle name. So let's uh, make sure we stick with that theme, and we'll do middle initial, and we'll do that as a char, which is a character. So what we need to do now is we need to get the input of the first name, middle name, last name, and then we'll talk about the string manipulation. Okay, so we have our prompts. Uh, what is your first name? What is your middle name? What is your last name? So now uh, that we have gotten all the inputs, we can go ahead and get the middle initial or the first uh, letter of the uh, person's middle name. So what we're going to do is we're going to do middle initial and then we're going to start from the left. So, and remember, we talked about when you're using the left method, you have to decide what string are you working with, or you have to let the computer know what string are you working with, and then how many characters do you want? Well, the string we're working with is middle name, and how many characters do we want? One. We just want the first character. So now what we can do is we can output that, uh, you know, the name is, and then we can do the first name, and then we want to put a space so it's a pretty easy to read. And then our middle initial, and then a space again, and then their last name. So now when we save and run our program, once we enter the first name, middle name, and last name, it should output the first name, the middle initial that we got right here, and then their last name. Let's run our program and try it now. Okay, so what is your first name? Let's say the name we're working with is uh, Jack. Uh, middle name, let's say it's uh, Francis. And let's say our last name is, uh, I don't know, Roberts. That sounds good. So then it should output Jack F. Roberts, and it does. So what we did was we used the left method to isolate the first letter of the middle uh, of the middle name. What we can also do is we can uh, do some more. We can do the first initial. We're going to do that as a character and the last initial as a character just to become more familiar with uh, the left. So what we can do here is, and you can do these in any order you want. Um, so I'll do the first initial uh, first. We're going to be using left. What string are we working with? We're working with the first name and how many letters or characters do I want to take? I want to take one. And it looks like I may have spelled initial incorrectly and I did up here. So we'll fix that. It's not underlined because it's spelled incorrectly. It's, it's underlined by red because it's saying you don't have a variable uh, for that. So let's do last initial. We're going to do left. We're working with last name. I want the first character. And then what I can do is I can go down here, change this to first initial, this to last initial. And then what it will do is it will uh, print out the initials so I can say the initials in your in the name is and then it will output the initials let's run our program and see how this works but first we have to fix this and I spelled initial uh, wrong so too many T's and an I in the right wrong spot here so and once we spell it correctly now we can run our program and see how this works Okay, so we're going to enter the same name, Jack, Francis, Drake, or Roberts is what we did, and then JFR. So you can see how that works. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and comment the code we just wrote out, and we're going to do another uh, program in the same one that we're just going to leave uncommented so we can see how to take the last four digits of our credit card number. Let's do that now. 
Now we've commented out our code so it won't run and uh, you can always put it back in uh, when you want to. You don't need to go through and highlight or delete all these single apostrophes one by one. What you can do is simply uh, highlight and then this button right here, you can com out, comment the selected lines. You can also uh, uncomment the selected lines. So uh, that way instead of putting in uh, single apostrophes in front of all your lines of code, you can uh, highlight the blocks. All right, so let's go ahead and let's have a variable to hold our credit card number. So what we're going to do is we're going to do dim credit card, and that is going to be a string. Now you may be saying, well, it needs to be an integer. No, it doesn't because 16 digits, that may go beyond the bounds of an integer. Plus, we're not really doing any math with it. What we also need to do is we need to do the last digits as a string and what we're going to do is we're going to get the last uh, four digits of the credit card and we're going to output it. So the first thing we need to do is ask them what is their credit card number and then we'll output the last four. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we have our prompt for them to enter their 16 digit credit card number. Now we're not checking to see if there's actually 16 numbers. Uh, this is focusing strictly on string manipulation. So that's why we're not doing any error checking here. So now what we're gonna do is we need to get those last digits. How do we do that? We're gonna use the right because we need to go all the way to the last four digits they entered. We're gonna put the string that we're working with, which is credit card. And then going from the right, how many characters do I want? I want the last four. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna output those last four uh, credit card numbers. So we can say the last four digits are, and then what we can do is last digits. And you, you often see this when you go and you pay for something like say, uh, when you're at the gas station gassing up, it's gonna output the last four digits. It puts X's in uh, for the rest. Uh, we can do that, um, but we're just looking at how to get the last digits. So let's go ahead and save, run our program, and see how it works. So here we have, enter your 16 digit credit card number. So I'm gonna go one, 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 one. Let's do two, 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 three, 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 three. And now for the last four digits, I'll actually put in some uh, random numbers like nine, seven, six, one. So when I hit enter, it should output nine, seven, six, one, and it does. The last four digits are nine, seven, six, one. So we can see how left and how right works in a real world application. Uh, that's it for this video, uh, real short and simple. If you have any questions, post a comment below. In the next video, we're gonna be using mid and we're gonna isolate each individual letter and we're gonna take a string and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna input it so it's spelled backwards. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video.